Hey man, stay safe world. Y'all already know what's going on. We gotta talk about the situation with Jace and his snitching allegations where he basically finally spoke out and dropped a song to actually explain his side of the story. And on top of that, he went crazy and dissed Can Can and honestly, he basically destroyed Can Can. We gonna get right into it. But before we do, I'm gonna need y'all to like, comment, subscribe, and we gonna run this up. So in case you didn't realize, I just dropped a video on this also basically highlighting the paperwork situation that's going around Jace. But Jace is being accused of allegedly snitching on Summers, Desire, BZ, basically all, you know, like the slave world niggas. So basically what happened was there was an incident that occurred in Houston where a plug got robbed of $3,000 and like basically people that were in the whole situation like summers jays all of them basically got caught up with it uh several of them bz like they pistol whipped the dude stole a thousand dollars from him and then i guess his mom or something discovered that this happened and then called the police something like that so then there was a statement that was released like paperwork of basically jace like it's saying that he could like had a conversation with the police and left a statement and basically was talking about it and that is for certain and people were trying to debate whether or not this paperwork is real or fake and honestly after reading it it looks like it might have been real because i don't think a rapper would like anyone that would make this paperwork or whatever i'm not even 100 percent sure that they would like be able to like do the terms and shit and then after i researched the actual names of the police you can find them everything it seems like it was real but basically in the paperwork they were saying that jace sort of went and identified several members that were there also and occurred and on top of it he got caught with a switch on his gun which is like a very very like bad penalty and like i guess there are people were saying that he snitched to get out of that situation because he is like sort of the only person that ended up like giving a statement on it and they also say that he like really just dropped the ball and identified all the people that were part of the situation which in that case would be snitching so i guess he came back and responded i know people were saying that like some some of his fans don't really even care really they're like because the song that he dropped was super hard like this is one of the hardest songs that i've ever heard him drop the one that he did like sort of talking about the snitching allegations it's called i didn't do it and in the song he basically talks about like the whole situation and everything and he says that like they got caught up in the situation and he because he got caught separately he he said that one of the other people that that were in the situation actually turned themselves in he didn't turn himself in he actually got caught for a gun charge and then they ended up asking him questions about this situation i guess so in that being so i guess he was saying that like how is he the snitch when there's actual real snitches out there but on top of that one of the more memorable lines in the song he disses the fuck out of can can it's like i don't even know how can can could respond to this and Honestly, I've been saying this for a minute now that his fans are kind of delusional because this dude is a straight abuser. Like, I don't know if you've seen, basically, uh, about a year ago, he got into, he went viral for basically hitting his girlfriend. Like, not just like hitting her, like punching her or nothing, like scratching the shit out of her, like a fucking cat on some weirdo shit. But basically, Jay says, like, Can Can has a lot to say because Can Can basically, like, went and i guess posted the snitching allegations and was clowning jace on his story and said he couldn't fuck with him obviously because they're quote unquote street rappers even though i wouldn't consider them street people they could easily be civilians but they choose this life but he basically dissed jace and then jace came back and dissed the fuck out of can can he said like something of the tune of like you be like uh quick not like you don't want to fight me but you're quick to fight your bitch so he basically says you're not trying to fight an actual dude like you're really just be talking hard but only be fighting women because that's all he really be doing 
Plus, this dude can can be so fried. I know for certain if you were to hit him once, like he he be gone, bro. Like this man will fucking like he could probably fucking die if you punch him once, cause he's not sturdy. It's not like these dudes be working out or nothing like that. They're all frail from all the perks and lean that's in their system and shit. But he basically flamed can can on that shit. On top of that, he dissed summers and desire. So he basically took the route of. I feel like he took the six nine route. I'm not 100% the snitching allegations are true, but I do know 100% that the allegations, at least the paperwork, looks legit, and no one has came out and said it was fake. People were trying to raise doubt in it, but I think it was real, because I don't really know how exactly they would like go about doing this. Like, Who would type out something like that? And it sounded pretty official, as what the police were saying. People were leaving it up to doubt because they only mentioned Jace's first name and they didn't mention Summers and Desire and Beezy's real names. But in the paperwork, it's they said because they don't know what their names are. He just knew what their fucking um, like rap names were. So, I mean, honestly, I think he might have left a statement to the police. Regardless, that could be considered snitching or dry snitching or whatever. But I think it was because he didn't and he didn't want to get caught up for a situation that he wasn't even really like a part of even though he was he fucking shot at the person allegedly but i mean it's really for the fans and the other rappers to really decide what exactly is the situation but all i know is that after he snatched he dropped this song and this song you should check it out it's hard as fuck like people were literally saying i don't care he snitched this song is hard which is i mean like the average civilian it doesn't matter but obviously people who are rapping and doing illegal activities they can't really fuck with the snitch so this nigga is kind of going on the six nine wave basically dissing everybody honestly that's kind of what he should be doing in the beginning i feel like these dudes becoming buddy buddy with each other is like honestly a terrible decision but it's probably on some 48 laws of power type shit where it's like keep your friends close and your enemies closer on some i don't know just like transactional relationship or friends because it's like really like i don't really really see what you gain if you already have a big fan base i don't see what you gain hanging out with other rappers that are fried especially when it's like y'all all on drugs y'all all got guns and shit y'all all basically facing cases and shit like that it makes no sense to be hanging out with other people that are like that like sure they're clouded or whatever but at the end of the day like look at the whole slay world and not even just the niggas in slay, slay world but like just people in general like in that circle like they never last being friends for more than a year you know they like maybe autumn and summers they're the only people who are actually cool but they actually grew up together so it's a little bit different but it's like none of them have an actual relationship that lasts and it's genuine it's all everyone just trying to come up on each other and it's like real homies like would defend each other you feel me even if there's a snitch allegation if you're my best friend i don't give a fuck i'm gonna fucking like defend you till like it unless it's not real like that if if i don't really fuck with you i'm just not gonna fuck with you but if if i fuck with you i'm gonna defend you through the right and the wrong but obviously like it's different for these street dudes but i can't even consider these dudes street dudes because like what are they fucking doing they're not doing like street activity they're fucking beating the shit out of little kids <laughs> fucking like beating women and shit like what is street about that the only thing that's quote unquote street is they be having guns and literally it's not even hard to get a gun in texas open carry is allowed so it's not even no crazy shit it's just kind of sad at that point but it's like i don't think that any of these niggas should be friends with each other it doesn't make any sense for them to be friends with each other because at the end of the day they're all on drugs they all fucking they try to expose each other and you're literally just giving like for when you fuck up you're giving them the ability to like trash you on some personal shit and then the diss track's gonna come even harder so you know but yeah i feel like he destroyed can can on that shit listen to the song let me know what y'all think man let me know your comments you think that he snitched or you think it's a miscommunication or you think it's something different you think it's like misinformation i don't know man but let me know what y'all think like, comment, subscribe. You already know. Stay safe, shit, man. Peace.